Are you ready, Freddy? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going to do it, though. <laughs> we in here. What's good, everybody? Welcome to episode 22 of Short King's Talk. We are your hosts with the most. This is Sin Kelvin. It's uh, currently 8.56 p.m. How you feeling? It's late. It is <laughs> It's late. always late. But this is our normal It is. You know what? Yeah. It's right. But... So it's okay. It's okay. So before we get started, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on all social media platforms at Short Kings Talk Everything. Links are in the description below. And for everyone that has been keeping up with us and following us on everything, we like to appreciate y'all. You know, thank you. Uh, we're still growing over here. So, yeah, don't forget to tell your friends, your family, your coworkers, your side piece, your sneaky link about our podcast. So, yeah. So today we're going to do something kind of a little bit different. We're just going to be talking about current news, like current events that we just want to talk about. We Stuff that's not about us. Cause yeah. You guys don't care. Yeah, exactly. We're, <laughs> we're trying to see what entices y'all so we can get that clout. You feel me? So let's let's go ahead and get this started. So I'll start with the first uh, news. And again, these are events that are currently happening as we are recording this episode no- so november 16th november 16th 2023 so uh first thing on my list is another cancel moment from the famous youtuber mr beast do you follow mr beast roughly you don't really follow him no. i'm actually a big fan of him because you sub to him yeah 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 i i love youtube all like 12 of his accounts <laughs> No, I, I'm only sub to his uh, normal account and his philanthropy account. Mm. And it's his philanthropy account that is actually trying to get canceled. So from when we re- uh, record this video, um, there is a video on his philanthrop- philanthropy channel where he builds 100 wells uh, in Africa, right? Uh, he just does it in numerous countries in Africa, and he does it in a short period of time. And the reason why he's getting canceled, let me pull up the um, article right here. So let me just go ahead and read this real quick. So one of the primary points of contention was that his project overshadowed the longstanding efforts of local organizations and activists who had been tirelessly working towards the same goal. Saran Kava Jones, the founder of Face Africa, expressed a mix of frustration and understanding, and she quotes, I've been doing this for 15 years, but we've been struggling to continue the work because funding, awareness, and... Ad- Dude, I can't read right now. <laughs> and this word, I'll take work. And then overnight, this person comes along who happens to be a white male figure with a huge platform. And all of a sudden, he gets all the attention. It's kind of frustrating, but it's also understanding the nature of how the world is. Which, in my opinion, I just think that they're just pointing it at the fact that he's white. I think that's why they're offended. They're hating on him? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, um, so far, it's only the Kenyan government that is uh, voicing their opinion about this type of issues with them what do you guys say about that what do you think uh mr v's did something wrong like do you think he should have like coerced with these uh, nation's governments a little bit more they just wanted to cut they just wanted to cut. yeah man yeah, i mean I think we've too. been the third world countries man you know they all all the officials want a little bit percent yeah. here and there i think they're just pissed that you know they've been tirelessly working for so many years and here comes mr beast with uh these this full access of hella money yeah. in order and he did it in such a quick period right. of time yeah the private industry is always yeah much faster yeah and know this mr beast's philanthropy channel uh he doesn't get any revenue from it so anything that he generates through that channel goes back into his charity work which is super respectable because he has multi-million uh subscribers and he just puts it all back in yeah so i don't know man it's how are the people feeling about it i'm I'm sure they're happy right they're uh i've never seen any that. like backlash but then you watch these videos and yeah, yeah of course like you have these third world um cities and towns that now have access to clean water yeah because in the in the video you see like uh he um walked like the original path of when how they got water they used to carry these like old gallons of oh uh, like with a stick and everything right yeah exactly and then they had to do like a mile treacherous Shit. hike in, through yeah. the mountain there's even one where 
like there was like this man-made bridge but during like monsoon or heavy rain season like that bridge always gets torn down mm. so he built a bridge in that town oh yeah like a legit like a legit oh bridge. damn okay yeah yeah so i think mr beast is doing like good work regardless of his yeah. ethnicity or whatever I d- yeah i agree i think he's just trying to get no nah, the government just to- corrupt they all i th- i think they're just corrupt yeah exactly i agree i agree but I'm speaking from a non-Kenyan, maybe. Uh. <laughs> no, that's true. Maybe yeah, we I should get we... an actual opinion. From a Kenyan? Yeah. 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 We'll just DM some. <laughs> some <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. Yeah, we Thanks. have we have access to the whole world in the palm of our hands. Just <laughs> one DM is like, hey, I just want to <laughs> ask your opinion on this. They situation. got internet though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like the no, no. I'm, I know people in Kenya have internet. I mean, like uh-huh. the the people who don't even have water. Do they? Would they have internet? I don't know, man. They might. They might. You never know. Okay. Dude, when I freaking got my tattoo, they had the internet there, and that was like up in the mountains. Yeah, but they had to watch Steph Curry. That's why. Yeah, but that was <laughs> wild. Dude, you know how into the mountains yeah. that village is? You ever watch those videos? I watch them late at night. Those, what like, videos? Like, these two Cambodian guys, because you're talking about building wells, right? Uh-huh. They're just building, like, swimming pools. Oh, <laughs> just, oh dude. You, this guy, I think it's called, like, Primitive Survival. Yeah, yeah, and the, <laughs> yeah. They, like, actually, like, dig, like, 10 feet deep. Yeah, and it's, it's not, like, a regular, like, Pull, it's, it's like pull super luxurious. Yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. They're <laughs> living their life. Hey, I respect it. Yeah, because I would never. Do it's that. all faked. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, like they, um, the people had drone footage with uh, when they were doing it. Uh huh. Um, they had power tools. Oh. Had, yeah, it's all faked, and they they what? leave hell a mess. Like after they're done, they pollute the crap. Oh like, my god! Yeah, it's dude, all fake. Just blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all fake. Wow, man. I'm gonna start commenting on them, <laughs> like how random people comment on our videos for no reason. We'll start commenting like yeah. fake, fake, fake news. <laughs> All right, what news you got? Uh, this one's interesting. I, I want to see how you feel about it. So okay. Meta just uh, released an AI-based video editing tool. Okay. So uh, you seen like the memes we were talking about last week, right? The, with mm-hmm. the lean. So, yeah, yeah. And we just tried that earlier before we filmed. Yeah, yeah. But we just type in the prompt and they generate it. So mm-hmm. now uh, you can do that with video. Oh, okay. With Meta. They only had a demo for like mm-hmm. four or five seconds. Gotcha. But how would you feel about, because you do this for a living. Yeah, professionally, right? So, how would you feel about Kinda. taking away the, I guess, the human element of editing? Of editing, right? Making just movies I and stuff think, in the future, right? Oh, I think if it's making movies, I think there's a difference in that because there's this whole like psychoanalyst like way of editing. Yeah. Right. So I think it it, it can't happen with AI, but if it's quick montage cuts, you know, to like a music track and Especially if you if it can caption uh, dialogue really well, yeah, then I think that's fine. You think it'll put a lot of people out of jobs? Like not obviously, okay, movie Hollywood level stuff probably not mm-hmm. right. But like your regular freelancing dude who's just shooting like content for like a restaurant mm-hmm. or like other stuff like that. Well, the thing is, is that usually when someone hires like a freelancer for these like small time videographer jobs. They hire it to shoot and edit the video. They, they never hire someone separately on, on those jobs, right? right? So it's up to the person itself. So if I'm the freelance videographer and I want it to use the AI editor, then I would use it in that way. So it can speed up their workflow. You don't you know? think like some of the uh, cheaper, you know, obviously there are people that don't want to invest that much into yeah. media and their business, right? They so don't you, now, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, they were kind of forced to because they're like, oh, we kind of need mm-hmm. video ads and stuff, right? You don't right. think people are going to now try to, like, DIY that shit for themselves? Just type in, you know, like, oh, give me a video of, I don't know, of panning over a bowl of pho or, like, some other crap like that. Oh, um, I mean, if it's, like, royalty-free Because it's AI, right? Yeah. It's AI because they were making the video. I think it depends. Yeah. I think it depends. I think... It depends on the content that's being made, right? Again, I think if it's just uh, auto captioning, I think that's perfectly fine. No, no, it's making the video. Yeah, Yeah. but if it cuts the video into a song, I think that's also fine, you know? But it's generating the video. Like, the video was never shot. See, that's type, yeah, I have yeah, to yeah, see yeah. how that works. Yeah, because... Because I need to see how that can be applied to... Yeah, for ad content, for promo, or for anything else. I got to see how it's being made. Yeah. Because, again... Like, as these AI programs are progressing, I think it streamlines the work for a lot of people. Like, for example, like now for me, like I use Autopod uh, to uh, quick cut our um, episodes, which 
speeds up like the whole editing process. And then now Premiere also has a auto transcript that I just discovered. It's been <laughs> it's been there this whole time. Like okay, up until I would say October, I've been captioning all our clips like manually. Oh, <laughs> and then now I do auto transcript and it does it super well. Like it it like deviates just a little bit and just have to just do a quick edit and then that's it. So I think it will streamline, especially, dude, Lightroom is like the craziest one. I think Lightroom, like you don't need to highlight individual things manually. It does it for you. It's so wild. In Lightroom? Oh, yeah. shoot. It's so good. So you don't have to learn like, how to. Remember when I uh, edited your face? Yes. <laughs> that, was, that was an instant click of a button. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what happened. Cool. In other news that I want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you didn't know. Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan, is currently dating <laughs> Larson Pippen, Scottie Pippen's ex-wife. And you don't know about if you don't know about Larson Pippen, you don't listen to Future. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did Future do? The Gucci flip flops. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> she's not that old. She's not. She's, she's 49. like forty nine. Yeah, she's forty nine. But, but. Larson Pippen, while still married to Scottie Pippen, had a sneaky link with Future. And apparently, according to Future's song, Future just walked out of the, the room just rocking some Gucci flip-flops. And then Scottie Pippen. That was like the most like freaking well-played-out revenge plot yeah. ever. Because uh, it was because he didn't sign his shit, oh, right? Dude, yeah. No, no, I think, dude. Is do that you, Cap? Do you think, yeah, dude. I don't know. Do you think that's a real story? I, okay, I so, so what Kelvin is trying to say is that apparently when future was younger he was trying to get a autograph for uh from scotty pippen and then scotty Pippen was just like nah and then <laughs> yeah and then future was just fickle about oh, it like villain arc for like <laughs> but the thing is like i i never heard future talk about it i only heard asap rocky talk about it mm. on drink champ so we don't know <laughs> what's the story here i like know, that story <laughs> i know I like, I like it too actually that's like that's why i like that the whole the whole thing like yeah. metro boom and corroborate the story yeah. like apparently um, Future left the crib in Gucci flip flops, yeah. went straight to the studio and made the song. <laughs> went like straight. That's why it's so hard. Yeah, that's why I fuck your bitch and some Gucci flip flops. I'm like, yeah. oh, snaps. That's just great. Okay, but going back to um, Marcus Jordan dating Larson Pippen. So Marcus Jordan is 32. Okay. Right? And then Larson Pippen is 49. So, like so that's 17. 17. What do you think of that? I think, I think these age gap relationships are weird that's that's my opinion. i i've seen worse man the girls no, nowadays obvi- do, obviously yeah. it's worse yeah obviously I've seen it's like worse. dennis like, quaid is still yeah. the worst one he's like 70 something and so then like 29 right yeah. yeah 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 exactly so but it's uh, never the it's is it only weird because it's the other way around no i just think it's no? weird in general because of the age gap no matter what if the girl or guy is older because like you know that's been happening for since the beginning of yeah, time right? yeah yeah forever but like uh wow like Anna Nicole Smith, remember when she mil- uh, married oh, that, that billionaire? Old dude. Yeah, the yeah, old, yeah. yeah, you know all these girls are right. They have clout, but this is like the first time that it's reversed. Yeah, yeah. They're both not really because Marcus Jordan doesn't play anything, right? No, he's not a pro. He's just living yeah. off the Jordan name, right? Yeah, and he uh, he got some flack because he apparently uh, backdoored hell of his trophy room one. <laughs> Do you know about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's these like unreleased, like only uh, sold at the chicago store trophy room which i didn't know it was just a pop-up because when i went to chicago last year i wanted to go and then it was closed anyways there was supposed to be these exclusive trophy room ones that were supposed to be released and supposedly marcus jordan backdoored hella pairs to resell so backdoor is when employees keep these like, heat shoes like don't sell it to the consumers yeah. and then they resell it for more because a lot of times resell resell value is like at minimum double the price and these trophy rooms, what I think they go for like eight hundred to a thousand. Yeah, now? yeah. It's like that. That that happened with like a Nike executive. Her son was like, yeah, yeah. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He made like millions, dude. Hella. And then she just got like a slap. Did she get a slap on the wrist? I don't remember. I don't know. There. Yeah. But also, apparently, um, Michael Jordan doesn't approve of his relationship with. Yeah, because that's his teammate's freaking ex wife. That's exactly. hella weird. Would you clap though? No. No. No, nah, it's too plastic for me, man. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk about in a recent interview with both Marcus and Larson is apparently they haven't they're not engaged, but you know, they they do that whole talk about marriage type thing. Yeah. 
Like, apparently, she's going to take the Jordan name <laughs> if she marries. Dude. Yeah. So, I have a video. <laughs> I'm going to play the audio for everyone to listen to. And then I also want to get your reaction out of it. What's the last name going to be if, in fact, we get to that point? How does that work? You guys must have done the math on this. Yeah, that's easy. It's going to be Jordan, 100%. Jordan. No hyphen. There's no Pippin dash Jordan. No. Nah. If that happens, obviously, the wedding date, she's Jordan. And then any kids would be jordan's you know my kids being pippin also i feel like unless i got remarried i wouldn't change my last name but if i do you know obviously when we when we do get married mm -hmm. i'm gonna change my last name yeah Ooh, she you, says she's gonna you know what's last crazy name? though can we why she sound like someone outside right now <laughs> <laughs> hey man we can't drop oh names we can't drop God, names dude. we can't drop all names right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dude, that Botox inje injection in her oh. list, man. Her, her, her oh lower God. jaw does not move. Yeah, we we also got someone hella plastic like ten feet away from us right now. Dude. But we ain't gonna talk about <laughs> we can't that. Drop names. We can't drop names. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, like that's, that's uh, wild. Yeah, like dude. I, I also think it's crazy when. Oh, actually, I don't think it's crazy because you know I'm not in a relationship, so I don't, I don't have these conversations. But I do think it's weird that if you're not engaged, you like talk about getting married and stuff. I'm nowhere near that stage at all, so I know a lot of guys that do it. I don't I don't have two cents uh, yeah. for that. Yeah. But what what do you think of that? Do you think it's like weird that Larson and Marcus are gonna get married? Nah. It's yeah. dude, they're all they're like celebrities, right? I guess you call them. Yeah, they're rich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're rich. They do whatever yeah. the fuck they want. Like you know? E list celebrities. E yeah. yeah. You know? I don't know. That's something that's something that just resurfaced. I was like, dude, that's, that's kinda <laughs> I, I think I think more of it as Whenever Larson Pippen like pops up, I just think of future <laughs> every time. Same, same. And Gucci flip flops. Yeah. So yeah, there's it. What you got now? So this, <laughs> I know this is gonna make a lot of Android people happy. I okay. think they're finally gonna do the um, uh, iMessage to Android. The blue bubble. I don't know about the blue bubble, but they reached an agreement to have. Uh, it says Apple plans to adopt the messaging standard next year that will allow for a smoother texting experience between iPhone and Android. There is no way in hell they're gonna make the blue bubble though. I feel you don't like think so? No. So I know this. I know that um, with the people that have Android phones that I text, you can react now. You can, but it's a text. No, 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 no. no. There's really? somewhere like you can actually react. So, like, if you didn't know that, if you convert to, like Apple uh, to Android. If uh, for Apple users, we can react, so we can like like, we can love, we can put haha -ha on yeah. a text bubble. But if you do that to Android, it usually sends it as a text, like um, so and so like this message, or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, right? No, there, there's some conversations where I have where I've reacted, yeah, and then it just it goes as a reaction. That's the uh, RCS uh, rich communication uh, service. Yeah, they brought it out last year, and they were trying to get Apple on board. Mm -hmm. That's just like a standardized uh, messaging protocol between all phone carriers and oh. phone models. But Apple's is like, hell no, we're not doing that. Yeah, they, they just want to do their own thing. Yeah, I mean, why would you when you're the market leader, right? Exactly. Like everyone wants an iPhone. Like I, yeah. I don't, I don't care enough for like. I know like people who like Android that like to customize shit. To me, it's just a yeah. phone. I don't care. <laughs> like I really yeah, don't yeah. give. I don't exactly. give a crap. I don't have time to like fucking customize. Like, I like it. Have to you be ever jailbroken your phone before? Yeah, before. You know how annoying. Remember how annoying that shit was. No. Nah, you liked I, it. I, like, yeah. you I was care? super nerdy about it. But there was a certain point in time where I didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to be streamlined. I just yeah. wanted access to everything. It was so for jailbreak. Not news, but back in the beginning, it was cool to like set those like um, yeah. moving wall. It was tight, yeah. but then after a while, every every app was always breaking you have to go on the jailbreak it's just like annoying oh, you know that's true that's true. everything never worked yeah. right that's why i got away from windows computer because yeah. there's always some kind of bug but like yeah. macs are just um, just indestructible yeah the one thing that uh, i did like w when you were able to jailbreak it early on like iphone 5 whatever yeah. you were able to like text back like on your lock screen but then like, now Apple like put that feature yeah. there. Yeah, I'm like, all right. So no so there's no reason to jailbreak your phone unless you want some customized features, which yeah, I don't really care. Yeah, at this point, much. you know, most most things are implemented. Yeah. And people always be like, um, Apple's always like three, four years late. And cause like when, yeah, whenever but it's yeah. still a clean interface. Yeah, dude. And cause like whenever there's like a new like uh, what's the event called? When they were uh oh, what the, is it like called? keynote? Keynote. Yeah, yeah. And then, then there's some news, right? And then yeah. there's always some haters, like some in my friend group. They're like, oh, well, Samsung had that like for five years. But yeah, I was yeah. like, 
yeah but you all <laughs> suck <laughs> like it's Google not quick pixel been yeah. having that camera remember though. the uh face id when they first rolled out yeah and they're like oh android had uh face recognition for like three years and i was like dude i remember people trying to use that and then never worked yeah. right same with like the bluetooth you know how you like touch yeah yeah, yeah. Phones, yeah. Like, whatever dude <laughs> whatever Apple's I don't care. Yeah. yeah like i'm i'm pro are you pro apple yeah it's easy to use exactly i like the interface i could drop my phone break it i'll take it to the store it's covered you know yeah i also yeah. like the ecosystem i'm very like i use my macbook and yeah because like uh, airdrop stuff back and forth to exactly. edit. it's hella easy man notes is like the best one yep. <laughs> notes is the best one because i is, use notes man. so heavy so whenever i don't update, update notes either on my macbook or iphone it just flips over how you feel about girls um screening out dudes Huh? on dating sites based on like their phone like iMessage or not like green bubble and shit i've never heard of that really before. yeah i i only know of they they screen dudes because from like horoscopes um music preferences height that's that's one i've never heard like oh he he's an android user that's it's a green like, bubble you never heard that no no uh, no okay. maybe because maybe because you're yeah exactly maybe. you you made the cut that's why but how, how do you know like once they get the number and then they they, get they text, text you and it's like you know it's, it's like a green thing and they just ignore really? it yeah that, that doesn't that's a whole thing that doesn't bother me would that bother you if what i get ghosted because i no 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 if, if if like let's say like a hypothetical girl would like text you with a green bubble would you be like ew or no no not really yeah i wouldn't care either i'll just be like why don't you have an iphone <laughs> it's just not my phone yeah, yeah. So I don't yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Me. It does affect me in group messages. Those freaking oh, annoying. It's yeah, really yeah. annoying in group that's messages. The, that's the only time where it's yeah. like, oh man. Yeah. And then sending photo and video. That's the only thing yeah, too. Because we get we get Samsung links. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. For the uncompressed version, then we gotta download it. Yeah. yeah, like sending photos is fine. Yeah, that's usually not compressed, but videos is where it's like hella compressed yeah. and it's just super shitty. It's just annoying. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so this is something I actually want to talk about. I am not interested in this particular field at all but it's something ju that just happened and it's our friends super bowl right oh. <laughs> so mr olympia 2023 right so first place was awarded to Derek lunsford and then second place to was it hattie hattie chopin yeah so i'm not in the bodybuilding like world at all i don't know anything about it i don't keep up but you have some semblance about it. What are your thoughts with Mr. Olympia 2023? We watched it live. I know yeah, we did. Yeah, at Korean Barbecue. At Korean Barbecue. Yeah, it was wild. But we the were... thing is, like, I I don't know any logistics at all mm. anything. So I, I don't understand when someone wins and when someone loses. All I know is that first place gets 400K. Yeah. And second gets 150. 250. 150. Is it 150? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big drop. I looked it, I looked it up when I You should see the other classes. They get paid nothing. Oh, really? Yeah. So they take all the roids for nothing. Well, it, it's not like the way it was back then when you, uh, the only way you got th through the, your career was mm -hmm. with the prize money, right? Because right. nowadays people just compete for the clout. Mm. They have, they have like, um, you know, like sponsorships. They have their own brands and sponsorships okay. and they kind of compete because they have to keep that got sport. Yeah. No, you know, yeah. yeah you know, it. they I think they're it. athletes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're athletes. I think they're just beauty pageant contestants. I mean, right? Technically, <laughs> like, they're athletes. They're, are they? Like, yeah, they're weight training. They are, but it, it's, regardless if you think it's a beauty pageant, like they're still, they gotta like pump iron. You know? Okay, so they're so to, here's the thing with bodybuilding, right? Mm -hmm. There's no objective measure to the sport, right? That's, that's crazy to me because like this whole time I thought there was like some logistic like judging platform. You know, like no, how they judge no. gymnastics, like it's yeah. like to a decimal. Right. I thought that's what they do. Like they they look at symmetry and presentation and uh. If, <laughs> If like both Cause, biceps are because like every, every I don't know. yeah every sport has a g g scoring system right like right. combat sports like significant strikes or yeah. you're knocked out whatever mm -hmm. right powerlifting obviously your yeah your totals your wilkes right and stuff yeah. right and like you know scores points right, football right, right. right? but yeah, bodybuilding is the only one that's you know up to the judges kind of like really discretion right they're like oh okay. he looks a little symmetrical more symmetrical than this guy interesting so the whole controversy this year was um, they changed the way that they scored. So, um the so how do they do it so uh, in previous years right it was mm -hmm. like get as big as you humanly can yeah right because mm -hmm. like a after like arnold people started getting yeah. huge right and yeah. it was like it, it's gearing up gear well everyone's geared but like they started going towards like these, these like circus freak show right because right? arnold arrows everyone's like 
you know, they're big, but they're kind of aesthetic. Honor, so yeah, like, just, like, you know, like oh, V shit. taper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but right, like right. then people become start becoming like freaking ninja turtle villains. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then they had like giant guts and everything. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like very um, uh, aesthetic anymore. That's why they made other divisions like men's physique and other oh, stuff, right? To appeal back because I people want to see freak shows, and then there's people that are disgusted by it, right? Yeah, like, I think most. Gen yeah. pop people would be disgusted by the amount of muscle. You, I know yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. right? I didn't want to say Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's too much muscle, right? It's so they, really so they had to tone it back lot. with like men's physique was like, you know, like beach yeah. body stuff, right? Yeah. But unfortunately, as every year goes by, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that that uh, weight starts shifting higher and higher. So like, even though men, the limit, yeah, they right? keep pushing the limit. So okay. even now men's physique guys are as big as Arnold back in the day. Right. Which is fucking insane, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, th- so anyways, um, they're rewarding a lot of size, right? Mm-hmm. As, pack as much muscle as you can, and then right. you know, obviously, other stuff. Uh, but then this year, now. they they punished the winner for having too much size, and it wasn't like he didn't. So Derek Lunsford, Derek Lund, no, Derek Lunsford was the uh, winner, right? But the supposed winner, Hadi Chopin, right? Oh, okay, so people okay. are saying online that you know he, he didn't flow as well. So I don't know what the fuck flow means, right? Is it, is it like you know when you go from different poses? Is that no, no, point? no. Like the physique doesn't flow. Like oh, like the transition from the traps to the. To I have the, yeah. no idea what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah, so that's why it's not a sport. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't yeah. objectively measure someone's flow oh. or like, you know. Yeah. See, I, I don't follow so, it, so you know I think it's 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 a cool it's a cool thing you know I think those builds are kind of tight sometimes in the lower divisions no. like like C bum I think no I, I know you don't yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but like but I get it he looks I, like an anime character right okay. so I, I see the okay. appeal yeah. of that right but like C bum like he's also six feet tall right he's six two or something. yeah because yeah, yeah. apparently like the ideal height should be like around five my, eight yeah my height five right? eight uh, because of Ronnie like, was a rate. taller one he was like five ten yeah. eleven yeah yeah yeah. So. Yeah, but it, um, but anyways, the actual controversy is like people are saying that they ro- they robbed him from this pageant because he was mm-hmm. Iranian. Oh, because of what's going on? Yeah, because uh-huh. the U.S. and Iran are just yeah. like all about all that. So I don't know. At the end of the day, it's a beauty pageant. Yeah. There's, there's politics and everything there's too. Politics and everything, but it's just yeah, like at the end, like you know, it's a. I do understand that, like you know, it's it's a business. Yeah. Right? The Olympia is a business, right? Yeah. They ex- you ex- you expect your winners to go like promote your shit, right? It's mm-hmm. like Miss Universe. Like once they win, dude, they're they're dude, everywhere. Press, right? press runs yeah. for days. That dude won last year. He didn't do shit. Did he not? He didn't. He didn't oh. do any. He stayed in this. He he is because he's just like a meathead. You know, he just loves to train and like. Oh. So he stayed in Iran and built that scene up. But so you know, he, he has no on screen. He has no on screen presence. He barely oh. posts on social media, right? Okay. Versus you know you have yeah. the the, the big, great big. white hope again, right? And then yeah. he's just go around. So I understand. So in your opinion, do you think Lunsford, you know? Uh, earn his first place because again I don't, know. I, I don't i don't keep up with the olympia that way. i just know the uh i just know the uh lower classes right like okay. but like the the bigger guys i'm just like it's just at the end it's a billy pageant right yeah. and then they're they're gonna give you know whatever favors yeah. a company more so yeah. if you have a super super popular guy that's like well liked by the public mm. he's gonna win okay it's just marketing Oh. Like that's why I like Seabum's like undefeated because everyone fucking loves him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right? he's super popular. He's super he, like, popular. Was, he's and six then he, time, right? He's five now. Five time, okay. But then he married the Miss Olympia. Oh. Or he's engaged and they have to kill her. So like that's like oh. the perfect freaking yeah, yeah, yeah. story, right? So you're yeah. not going to ruin that. So that's a full like... You know how much song? money they make? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just press. like, this is crazy. It's like having a royal he family. He has his own brand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bum, so. bum. <laughs> is, it just called, is it like supplements yeah I, the, Only supplements. That, the supplements are kind of mid i'm just gonna say pretty much every supplement is synthesized the same way so if you tell me that one supplement's better than the other i'm not gonna believe you it's so. just a dosing yeah but his is hella underdosed yeah, yeah. It's extreme and it's it ta- that and just like how they like how shit. they're flavored that's, it's, that's yeah it. it tastes like shit yeah yeah <laughs> that's it that's it wow okay Good to know. Good to know. Again, I'm still not interested in this yeah, body. Yeah, 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 no, it's it's cool. I like to follow them on IG, but like mm-hmm. I don't, I wouldn't watch a two day. It's a two day event, I think. Yeah. Oh, our Is friend it, was invested. Oh yeah, he was like he, he, he was, was on it all week. That's weekend. why he live streamed it during. Korean yeah, barbecue. but I know he doesn't listen to this shit, so he won't even know yeah, talking so he, shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Do you watch the actual Super Bowl? You don't, right? No. Okay. I used to just for the commercial, but that's hype though. You know, like actual yeah. sports. It's. <laughs> I wait. I wait till the Super Bowl ends because I want to see the halftime show because mm. it immediately gets yeah. uploaded on YouTube. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And this year's Super Bowl, or 
next year's Super Bowl, I guess, is uh, Usher. Have you been to a live sport event? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how, how, I, I've get... been to a Lakers-Clippers game. Okay. Uh, that was cool. See, the thing is, is that I'm not into sports, but I'll enjoy watching it. Yeah. Yeah, but like the, the like thing. just being in the arena, right? Like yeah. the energy of the yeah, crowd. Yeah, yeah. It was cr- like it's contagious, right? Yeah. Can you imagine just going to the Olympia and, and they're just posing and it's hella quiet? <laughs> Is it quiet? Yeah, they people, have their music, but like people no. aren't like, oh, that's tight. No. Oh, really? <laughs> that's oh. hell. That's just fucking weird to me. Oh. <laughs> but I'm I'm, I'm cultured. So. Like, it's like yeah, go Lunsford. <laughs> Ooh, look at those butts. All right, we're gonna have stuff. Yeah, like, uh, I don't Wait, know. Whatever, Again, man. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Same, like, you know, I, I get the uh, f- fanaticism. It's just not my thing. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same. I'm just also not into bodybuilding like that. So to our friend who doesn't obviously watch our episodes, <laughs> I'm not going to get into bodybuilding yeah. anytime soon. So <laughs> sucks to suck. All right. What's your next one? Do you remember, do you remember when we got canceled for <laughs> like a good. week and a half for the conspiracy, conspiracy theories? theories? So they, did, they uh, came up with the research. um last no this monday on monday mm-hmm. saying that like um 78 percent of americans believe that conspiracy theories are harmful to society harmful yeah oh 78 percent that's a lot that's a lot of people that's the majority of people but again statistic right they, they probably didn't sample as many people as we would they probably just yeah like, like 100 like, so 70 yeah people? like on the college campus or some shit but it was 78% of people think... I don't think conspiracy theories are harmful. No, I think it's a fun food for thought. It's fun food for thought. And yeah. it's just like, hey, man, the government going to lie to you, man. Like, yeah, You exactly. can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, the exactly. government <laughs> tells you. Yeah, we're all not going to know what's going to happen beside, behind every closed but, door. Yeah. You know? The second part of it is crazy because um, they're blaming it. You know how back in the day they were blaming gun violence on like Eminem? Rap music. Oh, Limp Biscuit. Yeah, like shit like yeah. that, right? Now they're blaming. Oh, what's the Columbine one? Uh, that was a uh, Marilyn Manson, right? Y- was it? I, th- it was some some kind art. of yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It might have been Marilyn Manson. Yeah, but like now they're blaming it on online games. They're saying conspiracy what? theories are fueled by online games. How? Because like there's like Discord, and like people talk shit on Discord. Discord's kind of crazy, but I like guess. like Twitch chat chats, right? Like I stuff guess. like that. Nah, it's just like kind of chaos. They're just always trying to bring it back to video games. Remember how they used to say, like, oh, video games and TV, like, will mess up your mind or something? Yeah. Hey, man, now these make, like, million-dollar careers. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think it's very subjective. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think it just depends on who is receiving these conspiracy theories. Because, yeah, I like to dive in sometimes and just indulge in some conspiracy theories but i don't let it get to me like oh no the illuminati's out to get me there, i think there's like two extremes right you got like the younger people that are half trolling with their lizard um, right lizard people stuff and yeah. then there's like the boomers who get their like facebook news and then they start oh. like bro, bro there was one time who, who are scared to do their fingerprint scan at 24 hour fitness because they don't want their yeah. fingers in the system dude do you have any idea how many text messages i got um from these boomers they're like oh you guys sent this out to facebook like say you do not consent to them like owning your day remember that text it was like a year ago or two years no. ago there was a thing where like some like facebook soccer mom okay came on and said like oh facebook is like selling your data to like china or russia right you have to like write out this hell long disclaimer just copy and paste it and say like i do not consent to my data whatever right and then so every freaking boomer client that i had was like hey you gotta post this right now or they're gonna sell your data and i was like Dog, the second you press like create account, you have lost. You're act- in, the, you're in, the in it. You're in it. Like there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Welcome to the metaverse. And I was like, also, you think there's just selling your data now? Are you yeah. kidding? Me? Yeah, the government has your identification. They have your. They could see you security. like whacking it on your phone if they wanted to. Yeah, I'm pro- like that's why people put like you seen people put like shit on top of their front yeah. camera. Didn't they say the same thing with TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, the Chinese government is getting all your information. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you know, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I literally don't do shit. Go yeah, ahead, I don't man. do anything yeah, incriminating like, at all. Yeah, I don't know about incriminating, but I don't do anything, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything worthwhile. You can exactly. smile at me all you want. Exactly. <laughs> I just work. Yeah. I was working mushroom cap all day. That's, <laughs> yeah. all, that's all I do. You're just going to see a bunch of, like, Sydney Sweeney reels. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, for real. <laughs> Oh. Sydney Sweet hit us up. <laughs> Please be How you feel about her casting uh, in the Spider Ma- Madam, Madam Web. Spider? Madam, Madam Web. Web, yeah. First of all, the movie itself just looks like trash. It looks like shit. <laughs> it looks terrible. Dude, Sony needs to figure it out. They just need to figure it out. They they messed up 
with Venom. Venom was actually was okay, but Venom two sucked ass. Um, and then what's the one? Morbius. Oh my god, Morbius. Morbius was, terrible. was the, I didn't even give Morbius it. Morbius was fucking horrible. Yeah. I didn't even watch it, but I just knew it was gonna be they, terrible. They, you know, I had some hope at the end of uh, what's the last one? No Way Home. When you didn't like Spider Man three? No, no, no. I I liked it, but you know, at the end of the end credits, oh, the Venom end was like yeah, in there, yeah, right? Yeah. I thought they were gonna. Do they, a just crossover. Wanted, they just wanted to do that cliffhanger thing just you know in case man, something that's, might have happened that's dumb man if i, I feel know. the same way about justice league at the end when they had the uh oh that cliffhanger yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it just nothing came of it nah, 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 such nah. a waste man nah but you, you think that movie looks like shit it looks like ass yeah H- have you seen i, I i'm not I, watching the, it but I the marvels no, the marvels? i have no promise on that too no yeah oh yeah. i just saw this meme uh today where you know how uh goku's all like Let's fight somewhere more open space, yeah, yeah. and it's like the inside of a theater is playing the Marvel. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's up. Don't you hate it when like movies are bad, and then you have these like social justice warrior who's like, oh, th- you know, you guys are only boycotting it because you're sexist. Because I'm like, no, nah, it's just because the movie looks like bad. shit, dude. Like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. about phase two at all. <laughs> It's phase six. Is I it think. six? Is it six? Six. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. It that's that's how far good. I have it. Yeah. It just doesn't look good. Yeah. If you if Marvel just reverts back to trying to make some good quality stuff, but again, they they lost the original six. That was the you know right. That's what made it tight. So I I actually read an article on that the other. I think I told you right. They're like, they're saying like um, how people the audience now are so like um race uh, sexist right mm-hmm. that they're ignoring all these new characters like Iron Heart and like She Hulk and the stuff coming out. It just seems forced. Also, She Hulk was a terrible series. Okay, it was. But but here's the second part of the article, right? They're saying they're saying Hulk like works with um, Meg the Stallion. They were saying like, how come the earlier ones were so successful, even they were even though they were minor comic book characters, but the new Phase Six, right, or whatever, the females one who are traditionally like more popular in comics are not. And I'm like, no, Iron no, 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 Man no. is not no. a minor no. comic book comic he, book character. Dude. He wasn't as much of a um, household name, but I knew of Iron Man. But Cap, right? Captain America, like come on, yeah, yeah, Captain America, Hulk, Super- dude, like the rest yeah. of the original yeah. cast, they they're exactly. all big, right? They're all big, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you can't. No, I, no, no. I didn't really know about Captain Marvel until no, I didn't high school. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was uh, Sh- Shazam. Shazam, yeah, same. Yeah, well, Shazam's called Shazam because uh, they lost that lawsuit. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna say that if you didn't know, just like uh, in Street Fighter, what was it M M Bison? Oh what? You you know about that? No. You you know the character yeah, M Bison? Yeah yeah. He's supposed to be the black boxer. What, what black boxer? Uh, Balrog. He saw Balrog in America, right, or in North America. Uh huh. But his original name was M Bison because he's based on Mike Tyson. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Yeah, because uh, and then the oh. and then the um the guy that's dressed in purple, his name was M Bison. Okay. His name was like Vega or some shit. No, no, Vega was the one who was like with the mask. Yeah, and then the Vegas was a different name. Oh, they, they, they they kept swapping the names. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because does Tyson sued? Oh no <laughs> yeah. way! I didn't know this. Yeah, Whoa. I mean, come on. M by dude, I never made that <laughs> connection. M by said Vega was yeah. They did a three way swap. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. That's why I did not know that. You think that's racist? I think I'd be flattered if someone made a video game character. I mean, it just, it just depends. Yeah. It just depends. Because, like, G Gundam, like, in the Japanese, it's called God Gundam. Yeah. But they have to change it to Burning Gundam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course. So, there, there's just, like, weird, like, changes. Like, there's also another big one in anime that I kind of forgot. They, like, completely changed it when it came to... Oh, the States? The States. Yeah, I, I forgot. I saw, like, a random IG reel on it. Well, that's it. I didn't know that. Yeah. M Bison, <laughs> Mike like Tyson. So does the M stand for Mike? Yeah. Too? <laughs> Mike Bison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Bison. <laughs> Way to make yeah. it like not obvious. <laughs> just Mike Bison. Just what? It's just like super jacked black boxer. <laughs> They should have did like Ike Bison. Mike <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>, Bison. <laughs> Why is that hella funny to me? Dude, that's so good. That's gold. They didn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Bison. Oh my god, dude. It's like the tequila gun. 
dude that's wild all right so this is the next thing i want to talk about this literally just happened this morning and i'm just gonna state the date for the clip and for freaking people on the internet who freaking want to like nitpick everything because whenever we post a clip they try to be all smart asses about it so on november 16th in the morning snoop dogg announces that he's giving up on smoking weed all right i'm gonna interject this episode because i want to save my own ass and just say that when snoop dogg announced that he was done with the smoke i really thought something was going on who knew that it was just a marketing ploy so when you watch or listen to the rest of this segment of the episode, uh, just know that uh, all I knew was he was just done with the smoke and not that he was trying to promote a smokeless smoker or whatever it is, whatever. But yeah, all right. Enjoy the rest of the F and uh, don't forget to sub. So yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> no, he, he really did. He, no he posted it on he all has, socials. Doesn't he own GoPuff? That's just a business. So yeah, but he posted today. Let me actually read the uh, the actual post. He says, after much consideration and conversation with my family, I've decided to give up smoke. Please respect my privacy at this time. And before we filmed this, he posted a selfie saying, please respect my privacy. And it's just a selfie of him. So, like, I think this might be, like, a health concern. Are there negative side effects of weed? No, but you never know, like what other things like not not like substances yeah. but what i other, mean like, he's getting up there in age though yeah, right? yeah he's 52 i believe i think yeah yeah so i think that's really why so soup dog for ever watching this i hope you're doing well you're uh in what's my other, top five favorite rap voices guy there's uh what's he like i read the thing on uh not vin diesel fuck me uh bruce willis the oh magic he has ALS. Bad, right? yeah. It's ALS, not dementia. No, 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 aphasia. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but sorry, that's not sorry, the sorry. Same. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh god. Yeah, aphasia. Yeah, yeah. like he just can't talk. Yeah, apparently yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he he's not verbal anymore, which is yeah. Like but they're also, saying it's dementia now. Damn. Yeah. Once you get dementia, you're you're done. That's crazy. Damn. I like them in uh, Sin City. Yeah. But yeah, Snoop Dogg giving us smoking weed. Do you think it's gonna be permanent? Do you think it's like a health issue that it's gonna cause him to stop? I don't him? know, man. People do all kinds of shit for you. Uh, never, <laughs> nah, man. It seems serious because Snoop Dogg is prolific for smoking hella weed. He hired a weed guy. I I don't believe anything anymore after the OnlyFans thing when the CEO came out. He's hella Christian, right? And he's like. We're not going to allow explicit content on OnlyFans <laughs> anymore. That lasted all of three days. <laughs> and then no it was way. back. <laughs> he's probably like a billionaire with like however much. No, he's a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but he came out and he's like, oh, you know. There's no way. Yeah, because he's like, you know, he's a Christian, right? He's like, he can't condone this anymore. And it lasted 72 hours. And he's no, like. it's like, I, li- <laughs> I right. like my million. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. <laughs> You, so you really don't believe it? I think you know he's he's like what fifty two. You don't think yeah. he's ever gonna smoke again? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm not I, Snoop Dogg. I honestly yeah. think this might be a health concern, which like makes me a little bit, you know, like not doubtful, but just like a little yeah concern about Snoop Dogg's health. About your health for smoking? You don't smoke that much, right? I don't smoke that much anymore. Okay. Actually, I'm very like here and there. I used to be like a couple times a week. That's yeah. not that much. I know and then, that and then college, it was like every day. So. Yeah, I know people that does a bowl every night. No, nah, I can't yeah. do that. <laughs> but yeah, again, you know, Snoop Dogg, I hope you're hope you're doing well. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, I, I'm concerned. Snoop Dogg, man, rap legend. Come on now. All right, what's what's your next then? This is like this is like a very LA. Um, la centered one Mm -hmm. we had a so for people who don't live in la we had a major freeway burn the fucking ground like what three days ago it actually literally happened right after i drove past the 110 did you really holy shit it happened on sunday did you see the smoke or you were home already no i was home already oh so so, uh, i was driving back from lax because i flew back from maryland oh shit and then I drove past the one, like, it literally happened right when I passed the 110, uh, passing downtown LA. And then by the time I got home, I just see all over the the news or all over social media, like, the 10 freeway is closed down. So what happened, like, the part of the 10 freeway burned down, like, literally burned down, burned down? Because I know there was, like, a citywide shutdown of... Oh, dude, that, that, that was probably the worst intersection, too. 
have any kind of damage because that shit connects fucking all of LA. Yeah, yeah. Right. So what happens is um, uh, the city is hella ghetto, so they like mm-hmm. to store shit underneath um freeways and passes, oh, right? Okay. Underpasses because okay. it's free. It's or very low cost, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, uh, it actually happened in Atlanta like a couple years ago oh, where they were storing hella uh, wooden pallets. Okay. Just stuck in there, right? And then you know, like fire catches, and then there's mm. no way to stop it. Gotcha. So it happened in Atlanta. And then they rebuilt it, and it happened again. <laughs> Here in LA. In Atlanta. Oh, it happened. Yeah, oh. it happened twice, and they oh, never learned, right? And then you know, yeah. it happened in LA. What um was it on Monday, Tuesday? Sunday. Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, the whole the whole thing is like useless, pretty Which much. Which part of the ten do you know? Uh, the one near downtown. Damn. Yeah, like the busiest stretch of the road. Yeah, like yeah. everyone that commutes east or westward is affected. Oh, snap. I got to text my friends. I want to see if they affect their... Because they live off the 10. Yeah, no, it's bad. Because oh, now man. you have to take side streets. So everyone's on the Ooh, side streets. That's tough. Yeah, and then like um, I know people that commute and they, they are like, oh, they're getting harassed by like the homeless because their yeah. car's on the side street. And so they would come yep. out and like fuck with their cars and shit. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. But anyways, I got fire again yesterday. Well, two days ago. Well, same, really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Twice, yeah. Whoa. So that now they're saying that it's like a serial arsonist who's like going around just setting fucking fires to some Joker under- type character. Yeah, dude. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I feel like it. It might just be people smoking. Well, they're trying to blame it on the homeless, but oh. then they. I think that video footage of the guy. Like, Do you think there's the, actually a serial? No, there there is. There's a guy oh. responsible, but it's so easy to point your fingers at yeah, like yeah. a bu- like a group of bums and shit, right? Yeah. So, but isn't it crazy how they're able to get the freeway back up by next week? Yeah, it is. That's wild. Right, yeah. and one week versus like that construction. How long has it been going on on the one ten? <laughs> ten years. What construction on the? The 110? fucking halfway done fucking fr- overpass shit. Oh, dude, that's been there for like ten years, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, man, that's, they gotta do that. They gotta do that too. Who knows where the money goes? It goes everywhere. Oh, I don't live in money. LA, <laughs> LA is a big place, man. Yeah. How would you deal with the homeless population? Though? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> what I, do you mean? Do you have any solutions to it? Because it's I, getting bad, man. I know. Because yeah, because we had we, we saw just had an incident. <laughs> oh, tell them about it. Tell yesterday. About it. Tell about it. We had an incident yesterday oh. at our gym. So, like, I just came in, and then. Next thing you know, like, one trainer was like, complaining, like, yo, there's, like, noises going on in the restroom. And I was kind of in front of the restrooms already. And then next thing you know, you just hear, like, loud grunting and everything. And then the owner of the gym was trying to open the door, but it was locked. Like, hey, is everything good? Next thing you know, you hear, like, loud popping, like, smashing noises. It was wild. Yeah, yeah it was loud. It was crazy. Like, everyone, like, came out of their offices just to check it out. And then the owner was able to pick the lock. And once he opened the door, it was like this homeless guy that was in the restroom. And the owner got pissed. <laughs> He's like, get the fuck out. Yeah. And then just dragged him out. <laughs> Hell of that. And then grabbed one of the freaking weighted clubs. I was, just, <laughs> I was like behind like, uh, <laughs> I should watch what's like, going to Don't go to jail. Don't go to jail. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, that- <laughs> I, was, I was standing behind him in proximity like, that dude, I should grab that thing. That dude fucked the bathroom up. Oh my god! He, so he tore these legs from the bench, right? Yeah. yeah, he tore the legs from the bathroom bench, and then he tore out the toilet paper holder. Dispenser, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't smash the mirror, dude. I thought like from that loud noise, I thought it might have been the sink or the toilet. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Like, I think it was just him yanking the the yeah. paper dispenser off. That's not some drug shit, right? For sure. Was he on drugs? I don't know, man. He he just sounded not there when mm. he was trying to talk. I've seen that dude around though. Really? Pasadena? Yeah. Oh, hell no. On like uh, Colorado. Yeah. I always see him around. But yeah, in terms of doing something with the homeless, uh, yeah, I I don't know. I don't have the money or the resources to. But LA spends like the most amount of money on home- oh, California. They spend like an absurd amount of money on By homeless. Doing what? I know like they, they sometimes fly them out to like different. Oh, no. <laughs> that's the hush hush part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh. yeah like the greyhound <laughs> <laughs> don't just, ban this episode please. actually the, please the, <laughs> don't ban this episode the other con- uh, the other states do it more to us they will offer them like a free uh plane ticket to yeah. go to like, california yeah, yeah. To get, you've like, seen the south park episode yeah dude because yeah. they get dude they get 800 dollars doing jack shit yeah a month yeah there are people that are like out there who collect cans and shit you gotta sell them on my streets Mm-hmm. These poor Asian ladies, right? Yeah, they they make nowhere near eight hundred dollars. Yeah. The thing that sucks is that like a lot of them 
are aware that they're homeless and then if they can pass as like semi crazy then they can get like free medical treatment and everything right yeah yeah but they build these housing uh, places for them right and they yeah. don't go because you can't have drugs in there oh. right so they, they just want to be on the streets yeah and isn't skid road like a designated section in downtown yeah. la so oh I was, I was right by it when i was in little tokyo Dude. it wasn't that bad no like if you're at the edge of little okay tokyo, <laughs> like, like third and san Pedro <laughs> yeah. or whatever that's, that's light. You gotta yeah. go in. in? Like, you gotta go like, like Los Angeles Boulevard. Uh, nah, dude. nah. That's like dude. Walking Dead shit. Dude, I'm not going like, there. No, no, dude, no, no, it's no. Like, wa- dude, okay. No, I'm not going my there. homie hella told me. So the first time I learned about Skid Row, I was like 18, 19, and we drove through Skid Row. I'm like, this is a real. This is crazy. And the next thing, we were at a stop sign, and this little hella told me he rolls down my window, <laughs> and then a freaking two homeless people walk. I was like, "Bro, you better drive <laughs> out, man!" I'm like, that was not. I was getting hella scared. Like, oh, yes. yeah. I have a video on my saved Snapchat of uh, oh, someone shit. shooting it up. In, yeah. In, <laughs> oh my god. Because I, I drove through Skid Row because I think I was going to either Arts Arts District or Little Tokyo, and then I was just like, "What the hell?" And I just like recorded it hella fast. Oh man. Yeah, that's. That's a that's another thing, yeah. That's it's crazy. I only asked that question because one of our listeners <laughs> have been asking about homelessness. <laughs> We're just two guys, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. We don't even make money on this yeah, podcast. I don't know, bro. But here you go. Here, say that answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> May, maybe eventually we'll make a philanthropy podcast. You never know. Oh man. Maybe eventually we'll do something, but. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it is getting crazy though. What sucks is that I'm going to Portland for the holidays, and then oh, Portland is getting pretty bad. I feel like Portland hobos are more like the summer of love kind of hobo. They're just like white folks, right? That are kinda yeah, they're just, they're mostly like druggies. Like, yeah, but like, like dude, L A bums are kind of dangerous. <laughs> like, no, I yeah. think S F bums. Oh, yeah. are like yeah, I think they're like the craziest yeah. ones. That's in my opinion. That or uh, Venice Beach bums. Oh, I've heard about the Venice. They pouring like buckets of diarrhea on people and shit. Oh, yeah, they, that's they gross, are, yeah. man. Yeah. But they're also trying to like show you a gimmick so they can give you money, and they all like squat on the beach and stuff. Uh, yeah, so yeah. it's not it's not really my thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. All right, that wraps it up. <laughs> yeah, I think that does wrap it up. All right, so we're gonna cut this episode a little bit short, but that's episode twenty two of Short Kings Talk. We hope you enjoyed this uh, this new ho- format. If you don't. Too bad because we have another one <laughs> coming up just like this. We, but if you guys yeah. are like, hey, can you shut the fuck up and go back to talking about yourself? We would be glad to. Yeah. Just yeah. tell us what you want us to talk yeah, about. Man. Actually, we asked the Q&A feedback. and no one answered. <laughs> so much for you, friends. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What the no. hell? <laughs> but no, regardless, yeah. we appreciate yeah. everyone we that's keeping up with this podcast. We appreciate it like a lot. Yeah, we've been getting going. a lot of uh, positive people they're like oh i'm so glad i found you guys and i was like oh. yeah we do like yeah. out, of, out of the several like tens the and mountains 20s. of shit talking people are like <laughs> we get- not only asians eat rice okay like we get it <laughs> like, we know what's the, what's the other one that we recently posted that they like flamed me for oh man oh, every day dude tiktok is hilarious it's almost dude. it's almost everything it's um, comical yeah yeah it's funny <laughs> it's keep funny it coming anyways yeah, like, it's, we, it's hilarious we like, like it. reading it yeah. <laughs> we're almost not gonna really respond well I, I, I for, forbidden him from <laughs> yeah, responding because <laughs> we got banned the first time. <laughs> so he's not allowed. Yeah. And I'm not gonna, I'm only going to respond to positive comments. Yeah. But again, you know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media platforms at Short Kings Talk Everything. Links are in the description below. And then follow us on our personal Instagrams, minus the Chad, Kelvin's is Dr. Six Pac, and, you know, just DM us like stuff that you want us to talk about. If you want yeah. us to finally talk about feelings, be specific on what you want us to talk about. We can't just be like, "Hey, how do you feel?" <laughs> how how are we gonna talk about that for like, like fifteen yeah, minutes to an hour? That's freaking wild, dude. Right. That's if we had like a third co-host, like a girl, maybe. Yeah, I but, wish I could pan this camera around yeah. right now. Bro, we do not have. Room. We don't. Yeah, people keep at, you guys keep asking, we "Why don't you have a girl?" To. We did, like this is it. <laughs> Two of these. <laughs> we would love to. Yeah. <laughs> we get yeah literally the door like if i just lean over i could touch that door handle right now <laughs> like that's how small this we're room in is. like harry's uh under under the stair <laughs> <laughs> uh, no dead ass that's how big our studio is yeah <laughs> all right yeah that's about it but yeah again we appreciate y- y'all watching to uh, episode 23 new episodes every single wednesday or consistent yeah
All right. Out.